September 5th, Watching with Jesus. Matthew 26, 38 says, Stay here and watch with me. Watch with me, Jesus was saying. In effect, watch with no private point of view at all, but watch solely and entirely with me. In the early stages of our Christian life, we do not watch with Jesus. We watch for Him. We do not watch with Him through the revealed truth of the Bible, even in the circumstances of our own lives. Our Lord is trying to introduce us to identification with Himself through our particular Gethsemane experience of our own. But we refuse to go, saying, No, Lord, I can't see the meaning of this. And besides, it's very painful. And how could we possibly watch with someone who is so incomprehensible? How are we going to understand Jesus sufficiently to watch with him in his Gethsemane when we don't even know why he is suffering? We don't know how to watch with him. We are only used to the idea of Jesus watching with us. The disciples loved Jesus Christ to the limit of their natural capacity, but they did not fully understand his purpose. In the Garden of Gethsemane, they slept as a result of their own sorrow. And at the end of three years of the closest and most intimate relationship of their lives, they all forsook him and fled. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit, Acts 2.4. They were first to the same people. But something wonderful has happened between these two events. Our Lord's death, resurrection, and ascension. And the disciples have now been invaded and filled with the Holy Spirit. Our Lord has said, You shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. Acts 1.8 This meant that they learned to watch with Him the rest of their lives.